everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on a beginner's guide to calculus. Now we're talking about functions, and um, so far we've talked about what a function is, why, why we need functions, how we graph functions, and in this presentation we're going to see how we can solve inequalities by using the graph of a function. So we're applying the idea of a graph to solve some inequality uh, problem from mathematics. So here is uh, the example that we're going to talk about today. Sketch, the, it's a two-part problem. Sketch the graph of this function. So you can think of this as our function of x, 8 minus x cubed. And hence, solve this inequality for x. So you can see eight, we've got the same thing here and here. So basically, we asked to graph the function and then use that graph to solve an inequality. So how do we do it? Well, let's step our way through it. So part one. Now, um, in previous videos, I've talked about how you graph functions. You know, you look at the x-intercepts, the y-intercepts, and the behavior as x gets large and positive, or whether the function's increasing or decreasing. Um, for this one, it, it's even simpler for, than that. Now, a great tool when you're asked to sketch graphs is to take a simpler graph and use that to form a more complicated graph. So if I look at the given function and I cover up the eight, it's basically the, the graph of minus or negative x cubed. So all I'm really doing is looking at negative x cubed and the function adds, you add eight to it. So let's draw the graphs of x cubed, negative x cubed, and then I'll shift the negative x cubed eight units up the axis. So let's just consider the following. Okay, so this is the graph of x cubed. This is the graph of negative x cubed. And basically the difference between this and this is this has had 8 added to it. So I just need to shift this graph 8 units up the y-axis. And then I've got my graph. Okay, so I'll draw a, a slightly bigger one for that one. Okay, so basically I'm going to have something like this. So it's going to cut at 8 because that point goes 8 units up. Okay, you fix that up. Okay, so I've made a really thick graph there now. And this is the graph of um, 8 minus x cubed. Okay, so there's a graph. We haven't got the x-intercept yet. But that's pretty easy to do. So we can see um, from the graph the y-intercept is 8. Now for the x-intercept, how do we do that? Well, we set the function equal to 0. Okay, so we're solving 8 minus x cubed equals 0. Well, we know that x is, is positive here. It only cuts once from the graph. Okay, so we want to solve x cubed equals 8. Now, from that, you know, 8 is 2 cubed. So x would be 2. 
Okay, so the y intercept is 8, the x intercept is 2. Okay, now if you, if you didn't didn't like that particular um, way I've done it there, you can you know you can factor this by using the difference of two cubes, but it's a little bit more um, drawn out. But if you want to do that, you can. So this point here will be two. Okay, so my graph then. My very chunky, thick graph will look something like that. Okay, so this goes off to infinity, this goes off to infinity, and um, that's our graph. So that is the first part of our problem solved. Great. The second part is to solve this inequality. Where is this uh, 8 minus x cubed greater than or equal to 0? So what the question is really asking us visually or graphically is where does the function lie on or above the x-axis? So here's the x-axis. Where does the graph lie above or on the x-axis? And what are the x-points associated with that? That's all it's asking. So let's call this inequality star. You can see from the graph this is the part of the graph that lies on or above the x-axis and the corresponding x-points are down here. Okay, so let me just um, colour them in using my green pen. Okay. Alright, so that's our interval of interest. Any x-point in here will satisfy the inequality star will be a solution to star okay so two from our graph eight minus x cubed is greater than or equal to zero when x is in this interval so when x is less than or, or equal to 2 because it could, you know, we, we're looking at the graph that not only lies above the x-axis but also on the x-axis, okay? Now if I wanted to write this in interval notation, I can write it like this. Okay, the interval from negative 2 off to negative infinity, or from negative infinity to negative 2, uh, oh, sorry, positive 2, not negative 2, positive 2. Okay, let me fix that up. Okay, make sure you've just changed that. Sorry about that. I put negative 2. It should be positive 2. Okay, so the interval there is off to negative infinity and up to... Two. Now, I've used the square bracket there because x could be less than or equal to 2. It could be equal to 2. If it was strictly less than, I would have a curved bracket there. Okay? All right, so let's um, highlight our solution. And there, we, we've done it. So just to recap, there were two parts to this question. The first part was to sketch a graph and then use that graph to solve an inequality. And the method that, that I'm showing you, the steps will work for all sorts of problems as long as you can sketch the graph. So we, for this one, this was a pretty simple graph to, to, to sketch. So we started with x cubed, sketched negative x cubed and then shifted it 8 units up the y-axis because we're adding 8. From that, we computed the y and x intercepts using a little bit of algebra and then we use the graph to solve the inequality star okay so that's a very um good way a nice visual way of solving inequalities graphs are awesome because they're visual they can convey a lot of information very quickly thanks for watching everyone see you later hope you can join me again for more videos bye